everybody good morning this is 10 30 in the morning 10 30 a.m and i actually couldn't sleep i was thinking about making this video and couldn't come up with a way which would be natural i was thinking how it could i could make it more easy and natural and the more i kept thinking the more it got artificial so i'm not i'm not sure still if it's artificial but as it's the first time it's my it's my i'm new to this so i think it will be eventually in the in the very beginning so i wanted to talk about one of the things that I actually has uh, for the past few days i have been thinking about talking because this is uh this is one of the thing right now i'm i'm uh, in my life i'm in a place where actually i am giving myself uh, i'm having time for myself a lot and now that i keep thinking about my past and the days i have spent uh, especially in my un my university days and i keep one of thinking about one of the most wonderful things that i have both um i have both good and bad memories and that is about friendship so let's get started friendship it's a very important part of our life no doubt and not all friendships are equal that's for sure and there are actually friendships which are healthy that brings us joy and support and encouragement and there are also friendships which are toxic that drain drain our energy causes stress and hold us back but at that time i wasn't able i why i keep giving my references i think for me eventually real life and um, true stories and true events have worked and worked as motivation for me myself rather than just rather than just um, you know um, motivational words and uh, just those kind of uh, heavy talks so yes let's get started let's um what is friendship what does friendship mean to me so for me friend a friend is someone where where my comfort lies actually like where i can be comfortable where i can be me where i can say anything and nobody would judge me that is for me is a i think a, a a place of good and comfortable friendship and it can be with anyone it can be with your parents as well with your loved ones anybody anybody it can be with but it's very it's um like i understand it's a very important part of our lives and but unfortunately not all friendships are like created equally there is a difference between healthy friendship and a uh, like toxic friendship i for me it took a long time to figure this out that there are actually two kinds of friendship and why i said this because i always i was always in a denial that i always had that this fantasy that my friends are and i'm i feel sorry <laughs> it didn't work for me uh, i always had this fantasy that i i'm going to have like the friend series the cha my own monica my own rachel chandler joey ross in my life but it eventually didn't happen and that's okay but at that time at that age i i couldn't accept the fact so that is why i kept i kept doing stuff and i i kept uh, accepting and i kept accepting toxic things even it, even it, it drained my energy and even if even even it just um, what can i say was not healthy at all for me and it took me a long time to understand that the healthy friendships actually bring joy and there's a 
place of mutual support encouragement and which actually is lack in the toxic friendship which causes actually the toxic ones on the other hand causes us drains our energy stress holds us back we keep thinking we have to constantly i had friendship where i had to constantly prove to them that i was i was um, i was faithful for them i would be there for them i had to constantly prove myself again and again which eventually made me miserable to be honest it made me miserable and made me doubt myself that am i not a good friend am i not a good friend material this is very this is very important understanding that there is nothing wrong with you everybody is different everybody's way of talking is different everybody has a different kind of um, approach when it comes to any kind of relationship but that's not that's that's not a problem that shouldn't be a problem healthy friendship if it's healthy then it will be eventually like there will be mutual respect trust and the communication would be easy which is very important and these healthy friendships are actually based on like common interests and values and these are basically characterized by honesty support positivity and in healthy relationship you will you will automatically feel like appreciated whatever you don't have to worry like when i was in when i had both kind of friends so now i can say i am in a place where touch wood i uh, have good friends i have very less friends but i have good friends and i can tell them anything my best friend and i we have been best friends for 12 years i think and it has been beautiful we don't talk every day we don't have to assure to each other that oh i'm i'm there for you i uh, i have to i don't have to speak to her every day but still when i call her i can start the conversation in the middle of the way i'm like hey you know what this is heaven but it has been probably a week that i haven't had a real conversation with her and that's fine that's okay you don't have to be in a constant constant communication to just to have a healthy and just to have a good like someone as a friend right that took me a long time to understand that took me a long time and eventually i had to go through manipulation negativity which drained my energy left me exhausted and emotionally i was damaged truly i was damaged i was i was uh, i was suffering like i uh, i kept giving my energy to other people to make them feel better but end of the day at night when i went to sleep i would feel emotionally and mentally and my all energy you know i was feeling like i was feeding a parasite and it's actually true it's actually true like toxic friendships they will take energy from you they will just make you feel like less every day and always there will be like jealousy and competitiveness and try to undermine your success and happiness but that's not healthy that's not healthy and actually the main difference about healthy and toxic friendship is that how they make you feel that's very important healthy friendship makes you feel uplifted inspired while toxic friendship actually leaves you feel drained and discouraged it is very important that we understand what are the signs of the like toxic friendship and healthy friendship and trust me it's fine it's fine to walk away if necessary just just walk away don't give your energy don't keep trying again and again because remember two friend tr- true friends are those who actually bring out the best of you and support you in your goals and your dreams even if they sound absurd even if they are like eh what you're going to be an actress in hollywood 
guess what bitch if you trust me if you're my good friend you're gonna be like okay go, uh, go try for it do this 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 is because hey there are real people who are actually doing right who are a part of hollywood i'm just giving an example friendships should be like this and for me like why i for a for a long time why i accepted or why so i got so carried away <laughs> by the conversation that my i dropped my camera but yeah that's it was funny it was funny i was <laughs> i'm laughing and i'm i just i kind of <laughs> lost myself what i was telling but yeah God also felt the necessity that I need to chill. I need to chill a little bit because I was, I I got so carried away. My I was thinking about my past and those toxic days, and I was like, mm. I was so serious that uh, I think God wanted me to be a little bit chill and a little bit, you know, start the conversation again with a smile rather than just <sighs> making everyone sad with my sad and serious face so as i was saying um I, i'm i'm going to give you an example as i don't know i now now that i have dropped my camera funny things are like i i keep having funny things in my mind so my sister my younger sister she had a friend who was um like it's just an example of like toxic friendship I will say though they are still they talk with each other but yeah it's her choice which I'm not very happy about but what can you say it's your friend it's your decision and end of the day even if she's your little sister you got to make them the choice give them the right to make the decisions and they will live she will eventually get it she gets it but uh, she's not at that point that she can still you know kick her or cut, not kick her sorry <laughs> cut her out of her life so this friend of hers she used to um my my sister she was very fond of this person and she understood that like you like there are both kind of uh, like kids you know when i was kid i was the dumb one like there are kids for, on my age who who would understand so much more and who had the you know uh, like uh, like outstanding maturity they would understand a lot but in my age i wouldn't even those kind of thoughts um, i wouldn't that level of maturity i i i'm still amazed how did they understand that much and how could they read my mind that easily so she was like that my my sister's friend was like that and she used to you know manipulate her and she used to use her for notes and for like she used to bunk her class a lot and she used to use her for notes but she used to you know emotionally i don't know i'm still confused that did it give her a pleasure that my sister was very fond of her and like she used to cry for her or something like that but she used to say that you know what when she was angry and something wouldn't be as per her wish she would say you know what uh so and so i wouldn't be friends with you from next monday she would say this on wednesday so up till thursday friday saturday sunday she will be friends guess what why because sunday they have a test so after the test or from monday they won't be friends anymore <laughs> talk about toxic friendship i didn't have that kind of friends oh my god but still yeah i was also bullied so yeah i was bullied too bullied bullied i was bullied too so yeah and uh, you know why i think i can speak for myself not my sister and anybody else as i'm giving references my own references so i will end this video with my own reference as well why i think that people keep you know going for try to hold the toxic friendship even if any kind of friendship they have why people try to hold it 
because they are actually afraid of being alone afraid of being like having nobody else being there just being alone but guess what being alone though you think it's scary it's very important to remember there's a fine line between being alone and being lonely being alone necessarily doesn't mean being lonely okay and being alone sometimes is very healthy because it's a great opportunity for you know like you can understand yourself better personal growth you like creative pursuits and it's actually a chance to recharge yourself to connect with yourself you can read books and trust me i am a i am a like a book lover i'm a bookworm so for me being alone i am you might think that i'm an introvert person i was never an introvert person i am still not an introvert person even if i had some very 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 shitty um friendships relationships and yeah overall toxic people around me but still i love communicating with people i i am like in a room if i like i am that person who is like hey, hi yo well what's up uh, uh. so i'm like i'm with every i'm everywhere i'm with everybody so i'm an extrovert person but being alone it it and trust me it scared the sh- shit out of me that oh my god if i leave this one person if i just leave her i'm going to be alone no one's going to be no one's going to be with me i i've been there that is why first of all i kept trying and trying and trying but guess what it didn't work because all the efforts that were from my side and they took me for granted so they constantly kept testing my friendship and my i had to constantly prove my loyalty but there shouldn't be like what why should i prove my loyalty over and over again so don't don't be scared of being alone because it's a chance god is giving you to recharge yourself like you are a cell phone and you are charging your phone very fast charging dash dash charger you are using to get yourself fastly charged trust me it works you can connect with yourself you can think about your passion you can explore your interests so many things that you can do and like it's better no it's better than the negativity it's better than the drama it's toxicity can be incredibly draining like i like i said on this video i don't know a hundred times i think and it's not worth your time not worth your energy it's very important to set a healthy boundaries and quickly recognize like when someone is mistreating you is not respecting you and is taking your kindness like for granted they are taking your kindness and being you being not able to say no they're taking it they're understanding it they understand your personality and they're using it those kind of people are very dangerous run run for your life very toxic so remember to surround yourself with beautiful people because everybody deserves happiness and you deserve to the most uh, like the most deserving person is you and always please remember of course family matters friends matters career matters everything matters but mostly what matters is your is a peaceful mind is a healthy mind is a having a positive healthy body and as well as a healthy mind and for that you need to surround yourself with positive people that's very important even if you haven't found that kind of positive person guess what you already have one and that's you if you are positive with yourself if you love yourself there is no one that can harm you so don't be afraid of spending time alone and don't afraid to let people go and situations that are not you know 
probably serving at your best interest you deserve to be happy you deserve to be healthy and you deserve to have a fulfilling life and with that i'm ending my show today see you soon and love you thank you for watching